every contact that you make is now a possibility for more business in the future. Right. How many hours do you think you've spent on the phone? I, I, I have been thinking about that. Like, I don't know. I know it's well over probably a thousand, but I think it's a whole lot more than that. I know it's at least that. I know it's a whole lot more than that as well, though. Did, did you see my Facebook status? Uh, yes. Yeah, and and that's my simple point to people uh -huh. that, that, that hire thousands everything out. Thousands of calls. Like, we're thousands of hours better than you, and we get better mm -hmm. every single day because we're always yeah. in the process. And it's like, just because if, if I don't have a lot going on, like, my benchmark is at least, like, 80 to 100 calls because it's not hard to do. It doesn't. It takes a couple hours just to burn through them. Just bam, 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 bam. And I'm leaving a dozen voicemails. You know, just the difference in the calls you make on a day. We time block. Um, if we were really, really efficient, we would time block better. But it's like when you hit dead time in your day, it's it's kind of the same process. Whenever I was living in an RV, it's like I would hit dead time, and it's like what else can I work on? So the things that we found to work on now that we're not in a hot real estate market is we're going to look for buyers, mm -hmm. right? So we've calling other agents, calling, calling other agents. actual buyers that, that we, we paid for a software, we paid $5,800 for a software mm -hmm. to be able to get in touch with buyers. And I really do love that software. Yeah. Um, so, and then we jump on there and we spent the day after Thanksgiving Calling them. Banging around, calling, you know, which, which those leads needs follow up too, because there's other people out there answering their phone day after and that's that were right. interested. And so we did that the day after Thanksgiving. Brenton did Tex Arcana. Yep. You did, I don't remember which one. I did Lindale. Palestine. Yeah, you did Palestine. Mm -hmm. So I only had 17 to call in Lindale. Um, called through them pretty quick, but it's, it, it, it's something. And then we're competing against each other and talking shit to each right. other the whole time. And then we get that off of our time block and it's like, okay. Let's go to listings. We have access to MLS. Let's go look at stuff that's listed next to ours and see if we can develop agent relationships. And if we time block our day, we attempt to buy property every day with the leads that we have available, follow up with the ones that we know are close, mm -hmm. all through Card on You. If we go out and prospect, prospect four buyers off of our new software that we paid $5,800 for mm -hmm. and follow up with the ones that we know, we'll answer the phone. Okay, we got a handful of them. Texar we right. had some good ones, and which Brent is what he's working on today. And then, then we call agents and do agent outreach to where we're looking for agents that are repping buyers that are looking for stuff that's in our area that we have retail mm -hmm. listings in. And if we do that every single day, how could we lose in this marketplace? You won't. Eventually, you might have to get further and further away from the place that you're even selling something, but you will find somebody. You'll find something that wants to buy. Plus, every contact that you make is now the possibility for more business in the future. Right, because they're going to start getting our notifications and, and stuff and like that. They know who we are now. Mm -hmm. You get what I mean? Uh, and, I don't want that one, but I am kind of looking within these parameters, you know, right. or whatever. Well, I actually am trying to get rid of deals. and Yeah, or they might be a seller. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Now I'm actually getting out of the rental business. Now you now the second sale opportunity comes in. Yep. All, all Another, sales training. And I, and I think that's the only reason why I believe in it is because it's like, we have made thousands of phone calls, and it's the same script every time.